Located in northeastern Shasta County, tucked between Mount Lassen and Mount Shasta, is one of California's rural critical access hospitals. Mayor's Memorial Hospital District has been serving the Intermountain community's healthcare needs since 1956. In the 60 years Mayor's has served our area, we have continuously strived to improve the quality of healthcare we provide. The hospital is the lifeblood of our communities in this region. Having access to a local hospital providing emergency as well as essential medical services in our remote area are among a community's most important resources. Mayors is also proud to be a significant part of our economic vitality as the area's largest employer with over 220 employees. Always caring, always here are four words Mayors has emphasized over the years in their commitment to provide quality care. Mayors is excited to announce the grand opening of our brand new facility wing that offers a seismically safe, state-of-the-art space which will be home to our emergency, imaging, and lab departments. Mayors has been fortunate to have tremendous community support over the years in each step of growth. Statewide, local, and regional institutions and many individuals chose to be a part of this remarkable project and invested in the community's well-being. Together, we are saving lives and creating a healthier community. Our community has proven time and time again that it supports the mission of mayors and values the contributions it makes to the quality of life in our region. Our capital campaign committee worked hard to reach and exceed the $3 million campaign goal for the project. It's through the generosity demonstrated during this campaign that showcases how much our community cares about this beautiful place we all call home. With a million dollar grant from the McConnell Foundation, and over $250,000 in donations by Mayor's employees themselves, Mayor's believes that our community is the backbone of our success. As a critical access hospital, the emergency department is an essential service. Over the years, the need for patient capacity in the emergency department at Mayor's has steadily increased. We've moved from a one-room, one-bed ED to this spacious emergency department with private rooms, updated equipment, and increased space for critical patients. The new space was designed to comply with regulations and changes while providing the best workflow and patient experience possible. All licensed emergency departments offer laboratory and radiologic services depending on their level of licensure. As time is important in an emergency, it is important to have these services located close to each other in order to obviate rapid patient assessments. These facilities are able to work together for both adequate patient evaluations and subsequent care. This new building was designed to incorporate this as well as expand services in each department with new, modernized equipment. Mayors continues to strive for improving quality and patient satisfaction, and we are excited to have new and improved tools to do so in adequate spaces specifically designed for the appropriate areas of care. My name is Dr. Tom Watson. I graduated medical school in 1983. I've been here with my family since the end of 1988 and started working at the beginning of 1989 and I've been here ever since. I know a lot of the history of Mayors coming here over 35 years ago as a medical student and learned a lot about the area and the history of the hospital at that time. It's been here for over 60 years and has grown tremendously in that amount of time. Mayors has always been the backbone of medical care in the area. I think it's been an important integral part to our area and every community needs some type of medical care and we've been fortunate enough to have a hospital here that's able to take care of the majority of needs in this area. Uh, growth has been very important to stay up with the changes that are necessary and with the quality of care, including the additional room as well as new equipment. In the beginning of the designing of the wing, we knew that we needed a new emergency room, but emergency rooms have to be somewhat intimately related to laboratory and x-ray. And classically in most hospitals, they're located very close together. And that's why the lab and the x-ray was built into the same wing next to the emergency room. All of those are going to be fitted with new equipment. Everything is going to be new, up to date, and improve the efficiency of taking care of patients in a timely manner and accommodate increased volumes. Several people were involved in the planning of this. It was purposely planned to be a lot more spacious, a lot more private. 
for patient care and have a better workflow pattern so we have enough room to accommodate more patients at one time and to use the ancillary services in an efficient manner. The way it was designed also is for infectious disease purposes, some isolation if needed. We have dedicated rooms for certain different types of medical problems such as a trauma room, a universal room we can use for obstetrics if needed or orthopedics and then several private patient rooms. I've been able to take care of people essentially from birth to death. That's a very hard thing to find nowadays. It's been such a privilege to be able to do that. We'll always be here. We'll always be caring about our patients, from the housekeepers to the aides to the nurses to the mid-levels to the doctors. Everybody's been on the same team, and we all know each other so well. It's been like working with your family. The community is very fortunate to have a hospital that's been successful enough to add on and stay up with the times with new regulations and rules, but also with the efficiency and the standard of care. We started as a very small rural community hospital. Since we were essentially taking care of the majority of the people in the area, we got to know them very well, both in and out of the hospital, in the community, in the office when we see them, and then if they have to be hospitalized or in the emergency room, we would know them and get to treat them more like friends than patients. That's a very unique, positive aspect to working in this environment. I've enjoyed that so much that I've stayed in this area for over 30 years and hope to end my career at this place too. I'm Teresa Overton. I'm the Director of Nursing for Acute Services, which includes the acute outpatient medical and outpatient surgery. I've been here about 10 years. It's been very exciting to see the growth and the prospect of having bigger facility for our community. I've worked in the ER before and very tight quarters. You know, you can see three patients at a time, possibly four. So this is just very exciting to know that not only do we have more beds available, but we also have privacy because what was defining in our ER is that the privacy consisted of a curtain in between. And when you're feeling ill and don't really want to talk about what's going on, it can be difficult and so that privacy aspect is very exciting. Overall for our community, I just think it's a wonderful asset. It shows growth. It shows that we are advancing in our technology as well, and the excitement is just really out there that people driving by and seeing how beautiful it looks, they're very excited to actually come in. There's been many fundraisers. Capital Campaign has come out. To be a part of something so big has been very exciting for our community members and very important to them too, to see something that will be there for not only themselves, but for their children growing and into their future as well. We need to be here to serve our community in whatever aspect we can, whether that means from the common cold to a motor vehicle accident, it's very important that we are here to help facilitate the care of that patient and give them the best care we can. And that may mean that we stabilize them here and then we ship them you know, to a higher level of care. But then most likely they're able to come back to their community if they require rehab and continue it on with us. So this type of facility is very important to a small rural community like ours. What is unique about us is our personal care that each one of us has. I really believe that's important. That personal touch is so much more present in our hospital and small community than it is in a bigger hospital. Even though now we see this big, beautiful, state-of-the-art hospital, the people inside are the same. We reside in this community, we care about our community, and we're very excited to be in a more advanced building. But what we do is still the same. We still care for our patients. We're very excited at Mayor's Memorial Hospital District to open up our new hospital wing and to share it with the residents of our community because we are always caring and we're always here.